Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, unlike other ones, we are going to uh, have a look on the history of two pioneers of the Taylors and McLaurin series. Definitely the Brooke Taylor and the Colin McLaurin. So you know that Taylor's theorem was presented by uh, Brooks Taylor in 1712. But the result uh, itself was discovered by a Scottish mathematician, James Gregory, uh, in 1670 and was obtained by Taylor in 1688. So, uh, and this happened after Gregory's death. So James Gregory was a Scottish mathematician, as I've said already. Uh, and who apparently anticipated some of the key calculus discoveries but died prematurely and never received proper recognition for his work. So in 19, uh, I'm sorry, in 1694, yeah, it happened. Uh, Johann Bernoulli, who was another mathematician, he published a series that was very similar uh, the, to what we call the Taylor series. So in fact after taylor published his work in 1714 therefore bernoulli accused him for plagiarism that's what happens and now let us move on to the colin mclaurin who was the founder of uh, mclaurin series so he was also a very outstanding mathematician and uh, he was i must say that he was a mathematical prodigy and he entered the University of Glasgow at the age of 11. Oh my. So at 15, he took his mother's, uh, his master's degree and gave a remarkable public defense of his uh, thesis on gravitational attraction. So in 19, uh, at the age of 19, uh, he was elected to the chair of mathematics at the Marshall Un uh, College of Aberdeen. And at 21, at the age of 21, he published his first important work, Geometrica Organica. So at 27, at the age of 27, he became deputy or assistant to the, profess of, to the professor of mathematics at the University of Edinburgh. There was some difficulty in obtaining a salary to Edinburgh, there, there, and therefore Sir Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton uh, offered to bear the cost uh, personally so that the university could secure the services of such an outstanding young man, Colin McLaurin. So in time, McLaurin succeeded Newton at the age of 44 and published the first uh, systematic exposition of Newton's work. And in his work, McLaurin uses what were called at the time fluxions rather than derivatives. So the rate of change, what we call the derivatives, that was uh, basically called as fluxions by Colin McLaurin. So that's the uh, just that's an extract that we took from the history of mathematics, and what exactly these two mathematicians were about. So, and that's all for today.